Uh, designer glasses. Are they really designer glasses? Ah, this is going to be a fun one. So, you guys know, I'm sure you've heard or seen something about Luxottica at some point or another. I know they've done a lot of 60-minute videos on it and all sorts of other fun videos. I'm not going to get into that. Now, what the core thing I want you to take from that part of it is, there are a lot of brands, designer brands, that aren't actually made by the designers. Now, there are licensed brands made by another company. There are another aspect of those, by the way, which, rather than being licensed and manufactured by another company, they're actually designed by the designer, but manufactured by somebody else. Now, Louis Vuitton is an example of that. In eyewear, they are designed in-house in Louis Vuitton's design studios in their fashion house, and they're manufactured at another facility that they built in partnership with Markland. So, that's great stuff, by the way. Don't take that any sort of bad way. Where a lot of the Luxottica stuff is licensed, built, branded by another entity. We'll leave it at that. Then you've got stuff like this. This is kind of the epitome of boutique quality. And you'll see me talk about this brand a lot. I've got other videos on them. This is Leibach and York. This is one we're doing a trunk show with this weekend, so of course I'm having fun with it while I can. But these are all designed by the designer. He designs each frame. They're all crafted by him. The process for each of these frames takes about six to eight weeks of a production cycle. So the painstakingly made with incredible attention to detail. The cool thing with these is, of course, again, the level of detail and craftsmanship in them. You can see that incredible lustrous shine all the way around the frame. There's no sort of defects, any sort of waves, any tarnish, anything in that finish. So this one in particular is a nice little double laminate. You can see that backing has a little bit of a different sheen and color to it, which is always nice. Now that is one of their more extravagant, the model Paris, one of my favorites. Women love it too. So. And then we have their London. Now this is not a double laminate. The cool thing with these, they have the old school rivets actually holding that in. Now you'll see that is a real rivet, not a fake one. So that actually attaches back in the back there. Nice little five barrel hinge, which is always good. But the main thing I want you to take away from this is that these are actually designed, crafted, all in one house by the designer. He actually owns the warehouse that houses all the materials for these frames. He goes through and hand picks each one for every batch that's made. You know, this is not something where you'll find two alike except for their stock colorways. We can do custom colorways with them. I have a whole other video of that. We'll link to that somewhere up here. <laughs> but yeah, so that's kind of a different take on things. Now, you don't really hear too much about a designer that actually builds it all in-house these days. There is another one out there, of course, and I'm sure there's many others out there. In eyewear, it is very, very unusual to find that. So it's nice to know that there's still some little guys out there really grinding at it to build their brand and design work all in one facility, start to finish. You know, it really lets a whole other quality level be presented that you really just don't see too much of anymore. And, you know, I've got a lot of nice brands here. It's not like they're all bad because they don't do that. And I've, this is a Varnay. That's another one. So they're, they're all designed and manufactured. They're mostly done in their facility in France, which is also very nice. You don't think of Varnay as a designer brand, but there you go. And then Etnia Barcelona has kind of their own take on this thing. So they're all built in their facility as well. Built and designed by an optician with colorways by artists. So that's a little bit different take on doing things. That's why I like that brand. I've got some fun colors, but all stock stuff. You don't really get that custom level and attention to detail like you get with the Leibach and York. So yeah, I'm a little bit partial and I've got a nice frame coming that's neon green. You guys will see that in the next video, of course, right? But my voice is still going out a little bit on me here, so we're going to cut this one as kind of a short, quick 
that's what you get with designer eyewear and glasses. Now, what it amounts to, and the big takeaway from this, is that with a lot of those licensed brands, you're not necessarily paying for quality as much as you are the name. Now, don't take this to all aspects of everything you see with a brand name on it. It's not true. Eyewear, glasses, sunglasses, all that sort of stuff is kind of a unique niche in that regard. So, it's just because there's not a lot of different facilities producing this stuff out there. So, the designer can't just, oh, I want to make eyeglasses, and boom, they can build a shop and do it. It doesn't work that way. It's not something you can do on a small scale. Most of there's a few that do, but you know, super, super expensive. All good stuff. Anyways, I'm rambling now and my voice is dying, so we'll cut this there. You guys have a good evening, and we will see you next time.